um, we're at Martin Luther King School. I'm Gloria Canson. I think back often about how I felt when I was a high school teacher and it was my first year. I wasn't familiar with the curriculum. Didn't really have a lot of time to plan in using the curriculum. I was just kind of like thrown in helter skelter. You sink or swim. Yeah, so to be a first year teacher um, and having had my teacher training several years ago and, have, and I've been subbing for several years, um, it's really a different experience to um, the whole range of things, the responsibilities. So everything from prepping every class, getting ahead in your curriculum, brand new curriculum to the district, um, to uh, assessments and setting up your classroom. First, so being a first year teacher, just simply not knowing the the day-to-day -day of the school, trying to get that, and then establishing a day-to-day -day in the classroom, as well as not knowing what resources are available in the school. Establishing classroom management routines that I stick with. I've tried several things and sometimes they don't work and so I want to change them and then the kids aren't used to it because, well, they're, they're just not used to change. Then it's just you. <laughs> and I think you're trying to balance classroom management, relearning a whole new style of classroom management that's your way of classroom managing with also like potentially like for me, like learning three almost whole new curriculums at the same time. And, um, like, I would say that some of the challenges that I personally have um, about being a new teacher is um, classroom management, um, just learning um, where, how to make my room more inclusive so that all students, I'm making sure that I'm meeting all of my students' needs. Uh, Being a first year teacher is like having a new job every day. Think about how something might work. Think about what the contingencies of that lesson might be. Every day I have to think, is this lesson going to work or is it going to be a disaster? Well, it's, it's challenging because I haven't done it before, and it's challenging because I haven't taught it before. Even if I know the material, I, I might not know exactly how to teach it. I think that... But now there's a big difference. Now people have assistance, and that assistance here at Martin Luther King School is valuable. I mean, it has enabled uh, teachers to get the structure that they need to set up strategies, to take coaching and turn it into a lesson that's viable to students and give the teacher enough time so that that teacher can get in and really become familiar with her students and the curriculum. That she and um, just having, having someone who's been through it really was for me a lot of those little things that uh, took my classroom and my first year teaching from, from being, you know, an all right experience, I think, you know, survival sort of in a way, to really feeling great about what I'm doing every day. It feels weird to even think what I would be doing or what it would be like if I didn't have <laughs> The structure, so the structure of the five minute warm up with a timer, with um, the, the, the way that he just sort of talks about like, you know, walking around and pumping up the kids that are like getting the work done and sort of having this really positive spin on it, but yet there's real accountability to it. So that sort of finesse that I think only a really experienced teacher sort of understands. Um, but I think that, the very beginning of having that tool of setting the tone in the first five minutes has made every other step that I've done that much better. I, I mean, in my eighth grade class, I really have 100% engagement. Um, I, every kid is, is, you know, to whatever level they can be, they are, they are engaged in the class because that first five minutes and sort of setting that tone and having some sort of consequences around that that are about the student taking responsibility for their work, um, those kids come in and they, are, they, they know what to expect and they get to work, you know. I, I, I felt like I walked in and I, need, I needed some assistance, <laughs> like, help me sort this out. So. First of all, so I was the only fifth grade teacher, but I didn't have someone that I could go to to ask questions relating my curriculum 
or um, classroom management, specific classroom management questions for regarding fifth grade. And so that was challenging because I was seeking out other teachers, but they were working with their own grade levels or their own curriculum. And so it was hard to get specific um, advice and to have someone come in and observe my classroom and see, oh, these are areas where you're doing well or these are areas where you could grow. Having someone come in and be able to tell me oh, here's what I saw you did, and here's what I saw what your students were doing, or here's the questions that your students were asking, and here's how you answered them. Just having someone to kind of be able to tell me the little things. Also, it's been really beneficial to have a mentor to, to ask the questions that maybe, um, you know, my administrator wouldn't have. So. My mentor worked with the other mentor that's, or the other two mentors that are at our school and created this meeting for everyone in our team. And um, it was really useful because now we're all having conversations together about um, our expectations and how to make those sort of cohesive across the, like all of the classes and how to work together more effectively as a team. And that's also helped me sort of think about my own classroom management ideas and how I want to, what I want to change, what I don't want to change. Um, and I think that was sort of like a really useful moment for especially the the fact that we have like three new teachers and now we're going to have, I don't know if the new person they hire is going to be a brand new teacher, but we're going to have basically an entire staff that this is their first year at our school. Um, so I think those meetings are really, really helpful because they help us all get on the same page and it makes it more clear for the kids. They're not going from class to class and being like, oh, in this class I'm expected to do this, but in this class the expect expectations look totally different. Um, Carol helps me with lesson planning, um, scheduling, she's done quite a bit of that. For a learning center teacher, um, I have about 36 kids on my caseload and so scheduling is really tricky. She's came, come in and helped me with scheduling, um, observing um, lessons, um, offering feedback and um, she's offered many suggestions on, as to how I can differentiate instruction while still being in the same classroom and keeping our students in the same classroom. Um, she's also offered um, um, techniques for scheduling, how I can, um, grouping different students. Um, if I did not have a mentor teacher, my life would be different because I do feel like I would be struggling. And then there are other professional development programs offered through the district, but I think the mentor program is really good because the mentor teacher comes into the classroom and sees what systems work, what maybe doesn't work, what might need to be tweaked a little bit, and they've been through these same lessons and they can give very helpful tips on, on how to teach them and how to manage classroom uh, dynamics during that time. Uh, he really, to me, drove home the idea of when someone's doing something right, pump them up. Yeah, that's great. You got it. Yes. All right. And, and the kids get excited about that. And they like to be praised for doing what they're supposed to do. Um, that wasn't something that I thought of myself, but it works. So I like that. Uh, Gage has, has really taught me to break up the period into different chunks. And that's really helpful because attention span of a middle schooler isn't that huge. So, um, have your warm-up time. You have your instruction time, which can't be too long. Gage taught me that, or the attention starts to trail off. Move on to an activity and then bring it together with the closure. And that structure has been helpful. Oreo cookies crushed up on them. Well, congratulations. You deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> you work very hard. So my That's eighth so grade class had like eight kids that have improved their grades like two, you know, like from a D to an A. Oh, or, man. I know. Oh, that is such Super great, awesome. great news. Yeah. I'm so happy yeah. for you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Enjoy the rest of your day, would you? Yeah, yeah. I definitely will. You too. See ya. Cool.